Hey guys, it is, what is today? Today is the 26th of November, Tuesday. Um, it's mid-afternoon and I am um, sitting in the parking lot. I have, I have some time to kill so I figured I'd um, throw a couple things out there for you. Uh, just recently started back um, working out, exercising and whatnot and feel a lot better um it's crazy how much just some something so small or uh not small it's it's kind of a big thing i guess because i'm actually making time for it now but it's something that's so simple such as exercise can just m change a lot you know uh lifting uh lifting lifting weights pushing myself um you know, I, I'm, I really, I'm going to start doing like, uh, not necessarily like strength training like I used to, but, <clears throat> uh, more like, uh, endurance training, you know, like training, I guess just get, getting my, my cardio, my, my heart health up to where it needs to be. Cause I mean, you know, I'm in my mid forties now and it's time for a lot of things to, to, you know, my check engine light to come on, you know, it's time for that. It's, it's inevitable. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I wanted to talk about a couple things today. Uh, one of them being carrying burdens. So a, a lot of us will hold on to things for a long period of time, which i I still do. And whenever I get down, whenever I get in my, my lower point, like my lower, um, self-esteem, my, you know, or I'm not just self-esteem, but you know, lower points in life, I tend to bring back these burdens of, you know, you know, shit that I did, you know, back, I don't know, 20 years ago where I went, you know, why did I do that? Oh my gosh. You know, and then carrying, carrying that with me it, all the time, and I'm, it's always back there and it's always kind of just on my shoulders, you know, and I carry burdens for other people as well. And I always have, and it's just kind of how I am. You know, I see somebody struggling or whatever, and, and, and I don't want them to struggle. I want to be able to help. So I, I will tend to take on other people's burdens. Um, it can be very, very unhealthy to do. And I found like today, I even, it, I started, you know, I don't know why, but my mind was just wandering. I was <clears throat> in the middle of doing something and, and I was basically just in a waiting game, waiting for it to end. And my mind started wandering to all the things that I have to do, all the things that I am responsible for. And it gets a little overwhelming, you know, especially, you know, you when, when you have kids or, you know, you have, you have things that you need to take care of. Um, which, you know, we all do as, as grownups, we all have things that we have to take care of bills wise, you know, as far as, um, you know, keeping the electricity on, you know, that's a burden. You got to go to, you have to have a job. You have to do this, have to do that. You know, all these things going on. Sometimes we just got to let it go and it carrying that stuff with us is, it can be, it can get toxic. It can get toxic real fast. And I've experienced that many times. And what I just what I just end up having to do is some like breathing exercises, essentially, just you know, just big breathe. So one thing that I do, and I don't know if it helps you, but it helps me, is <clears throat> whenever there's something really weighing on me, or there's something quite literally happening right then that's negative that I'm not that I'm having an issue with, and I can feel it inside where it's kind of just digging at me I take a big breath and I and I mentally I suck all of that negative all that all the negative bullshit all the negative everything in and then I just blow it all away not just out but away I blow it away from me and sometimes it takes a couple of those before I like even just doing that just a little bit just kind of made me feel a little better but that that extra little bit 
you know, just a big breath in. There are many, many breathing techniques and I can, I mean, I can show you, I have a card around here somewhere that, that I've used before. Um, you know, it, but that's my, that's my go-to. There's a big, that, or, or there's uh my therapist gave me one. that's a, a primal scream. And this, you want to make sure that you're, I mean, it is what it sounds like. It, you want to make sure that you're not probably in your car on the freeway or something like that <laughs> uh, to do it. You don't want to be in like public and do it. It's, it's the same thing. Only whenever you exhale, like you big, big breath in, you bring in all the negativity that's, that's here and you, you store it there for just a second and then you let it out with just a, you know, big gnarly, you know, just, just let it out. I, man, I've only, I've only had to, I've only done that a couple times. And it's usually whenever I'm getting aggravated and there's just one thing after another, after another, after another pile that I'm just like, Gah! you know, it just, and it just, it feels so much better. And it's better than, you know, putting my hand, putting my fist through a wall or, you know, you know, breaking something. It's better than that, you know, so I think, <laughs> I think it's, I think it's better than that. My, my hands thank me as well. Um, but yeah, man, like all these burdens, sometimes you just got to let them go. It's hard. It's, it's, it's really hard because you know, I got a lot of stuff going on. I'm, I'm sure we all do. And part of, part of being an adult is having those burdens and being able to manage them you know i mean i don't know it, it, i'd love to hear what you guys think about different uh, management techniques that uh, for your your stress your you know whatever that you've figured out over, over time um yeah let me know i i mean like i said my that that breathing technique if you can call it a breathing technique uh is uh as well, pretty much always works for me. Um, it helps me out a lot. And, you know, if you ever want to talk, hit me up. Um, I've got, you know, I've, I have WhatsApp and I have a couple other things. Um, but yeah, I mean, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta let burdens go. We got, I mean, because they pile up and it weights you down. You know, the next thing, the next thing you're, uh, you're shrinking because you have all this, all this weight on you and it's just pushing you down and pushing you down. It's not good for anybody. It's not good for the people around you. you got to stand tall. And in order to stand tall, sometimes you got to let go of some burdens. And I don't mean like. I'm not saying, you know, don't, don't pay your electric bill. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying let go of the burden of it. There is a, there's a mental aspect that's weight weighing you down. There's something there that's weighing you down and you don't need it. I don't need it. We all don't need it. And it's, it's tough to do sometimes. You just got to let shit go, you know? And I'm cussing a little more than, than what I'd normally do. I've I've had a day, y'all. It's just been one of those, um, I don't know. I've had, I've had a couple little episodes when I've had to let, let things go. And I'm, I'm not having a bad day per se. I'm just... feel I, I felt some unnecessary stress today unnecessary things weighing me down and yeah let them go i feel a lot better now um we're gonna go see some some christmas lights downtown with the with the kids and whatnot and that ought to be uh that ought to be fun because just the look on look on their face they i mean they could be the the biggest, you know, you know, they could be a total little butthead 
all freaking day. And then you take them to go see something like that or, you know, something that immediately like reminds you like, oh, they're just little kids and they love this. You know, this is they're they're figuring things out. It's 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 crazy, you know, like because we all think we've. I've, you know, we've been through it. I think, you know, I think about things all the time where, where I'm like, I try, I want to try to look at something as if it's the first time I've ever seen it. It's hard. It's difficult, especially when you're uh, it, jaded at all. You know, I've, I've been through a lot, you know, I've been through, <clears throat> been through a lot. I, and at 45, I've, seen my fair bit of things but the joyful parts of life the things that you whenever you look at your kid and you're like and they see they see something for the first time and their eyes light up and it's just uh, you know they're talking about it for a week but to you it's just oh, i've seen it before it's hard i'm gonna try to do that tonight i'm gonna try to be like look at look at this stuff like it's the first time that i've that i've seen something like that We'll see how it works. I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated. I have something fun coming up probably tomorrow. So um, stay tuned. All right. See you guys. Take care of yourself. Bye.